Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's session, we will be talking about the most brimming topic of the hour, the recommendation engine and how it works. Without wasting any more time, let's quickly jump into this video. What do you think when the word recommendation comes to your mind? Imagine a scenario where one of your closest friends recommends you to watch Money Heist on Netflix or your sister wants you to watch Friends and your mother wants you to spend some time watching a planet documentary. Are these recommendations based upon what they like or what you like? The question is pretty relevant. However, what if there is someone who understands your choice and recommends something you want to watch? Well, that's today's topic, Recommendation Engine. Before we start our today's discussion, make sure you hit the subscribe button to keep receiving notifications for our master classes, interview preparation videos and so much more. Here's everything you need to know about Recommendation Engine. What is a recommender system? In today's digital world, where people spend most of their time watching Netflix or Amazon Prime, the recommendation system is the most potent marketing tool. A recommender system is nothing fancy but an automated information filtering system to filter some entities composed of machine learning and AI algorithm which predicts what the customer wants to see. These entities can be any possible products such as ads, movies, TV shows, songs and so on, which we see on apps like Netflix, Amazon and YouTube on every day. Today, the e-commerce space is loaded with information. With hundreds of movies and shows released every day, a recommendation system helps tackle this challenge and saves customers a lot of time while browsing the internet. The recommendation system automatically directs the user to the product they will mainly like. Now let us understand this via example. Say we watched a movie today and then later we got recommendations for some different movies based on previous viewing history. Other than movies, it could also be a product that we bought and then we get a recommendation for a similar product based on the power of previous viewing history. Note, the recommender system not only works in what products are being shown but also in what order the products are being ranked. The idea of a recommendation engine is not new, it is something you are already familiar with. Excited to know? Do you watch movies on Netflix or spend time shopping on Amazon or follow the recommendation made by YouTube for music? If yes, you are already supporting the recommendation system in many aspects unknowingly which enhances your online experience. Now when you have understood recommendation system, it is important to understand why the recommender system is built. Without any further ado, let's see why this is important. Imagine what if you are left on Netflix between tons of movies to find your favorite one or on YouTube to find which song you like the most. It will be a brainstorming session. That's exactly why recommendation engine is important. Businesses are showing us recommendation and relevant content for a couple of reasons. For one, most companies think they understand their customer, but often customers can behave much differently than businesses you ever think as their choice fluctuate with time. So it's important to show the users what is relevant to them and match their choices while also sharing new content which might grab their attention. As mentioned earlier, the internet is flooded with good content. Therefore, you need a tool that bifurcates your choices from the hoard of information present on the internet today. The recommendation system serves to help us solve the information overload problem and helps us narrow down the set of choices. It helps businesses sell more relevant content that might attract users and make them stick forever. From the customer's perspective, the recommender system helps save valuable time and showcases what interests the user. However, from a business perspective, it helps to understand better what the user wants and might want in the near future. So how does the recommendation engine work? Now, when you have understood exactly what the recommendation engine is and why it is necessary today, let us understand how it works. How does the recommender system work? Imagine you like your pizza with tomato toppings. How does your mom know that you like tomatoes on your pizza? The best and the easiest way is that she could have asked you specifically if you want tomatoes or she must have watched you from a distance while ordering pizzas. A recommender engine is nothing different, instead it almost works the same way. 
it will either ask you what you preferred or see what kind of content you are regularly watching say you like family shows then it will mostly recommend similar content which will hook you to watch more and even if your mom knows you well maybe a machine learning algorithm knows your choices even better for example when you go to netflix or any other services which are mostly based on recommendation the first time you go there they ask you what your taste buds are whether you prefer horror shows or comedy series have you ever thought the reason behind this well it's to understand what the user may like and recommend the same to grab the interest in the very first go as they are completely clueless about your choice as they have never interacted with you personally or digitally for any service you are a valuable asset therefore they are bound to be treated like king and queens it's called the cold start problem where they have no idea of who you are and have no profile for you therefore they will force you to at least put in something say what movies you like what are your food choices what singer you must love the most what genre grabs your attention because how will they know otherwise let us understand how youtube recommendations work youtube videos are mainly dependent on three factors watch time videos that have a lot of watch time then engagement and finally topic relevance which means the video is relevant to topic i am looking for another factor that plays a vital role in video recommendation is the user's history say you continuously watch a particular youtube channel you will regularly recommend videos of them and content similar to theirs if i watch a trailer of avengers end game the stakes are high that i'll recommend the trailer of iron man or behind the scenes of avengers end game note these algorithms are supremely smart which know what to show you when and they can be highly accurate it should also be noted that there are higher chances that each company including youtube or amazon might have its own recommendation engines or a specific way of generating recommendations as one company's method of recommendation might not apply to another company or all what are the different types of recommendation engine before understanding how the netflix and amazon recommendation engine works it is important to understand the different types of recommendation engines broadly the recommendation engines are divided into two parts collaborative filtering collaborative filtering is a type of recommendation engine which majorly focuses on understanding and analyzing the customer's behavior preferences or activities to suggest reliable product or services here a large part of information is collected depending on a customer preference to see what the customer might like Amazon is one of the biggest examples of collaborative filtering as it works on collecting preferences from distinct sources. Techniques involved in collaborative filtering: non-probabilistic algorithm, user-based nearest neighbor, item-based nearest neighbor, reducing dimensionality. Next up, probabilistic algorithm: Bayesian network model, EM algorithm, content-based system. The content-based system deals with the idea of If you like a particular product you will like the similar products too here the machine learning algorithm suggests product that are similar to the user's history for example if a person likes horror movies the system will recommend movies from the same genre repeatedly how does netflix recommendation work the success of netflix is mostly dependent on the recommendation engine whatever they do is based upon what the recommendation engine suggests Record says 80% of people who play on Netflix comes from Netflix recommendation algorithm. So it's really big level for Netflix. In a world where there are so many cultures and people with different tastes, it's hard to please everyone at the right time with the right content. And that's where recommendation engine enters. Here is the science behind Netflix. Whenever you click on the Netflix tab, the recommendation system gets ready to direct you to the right source of information you might be looking for. Netflix estimates your action based upon your number of factors including your interaction with the services say your search history or your most recently watched show other members who have similar taste or presence as of you information about the title such as the genre you most likely to watch in actors you love the most categories and so on in addition to know what you love watching on Netflix they personalize your experience based upon the time you watch netflix the device on which you are watching netflix for how long you are watching netflix in the entire day or one sitting 
all these pieces of data may not matter to you however they are most important source of information by which netflix knows you better than everyone when you create your profile on netflix for very first time you must have noticed that netflix asks you to choose a title you prefer over others once you start to select the options the netflix recommendation engine starts to bifurcate your choices and presents you with everything you would want to watch apart from netflix another platform that is gaining immense popularity these days is amazon let's discuss how amazon recommendation engine works how does the amazon recommendation engine work amazon being a multi billion dollar estate many emerging companies look up to amazon and its magic ingredient which made it the world's most visited e-commerce website till now note amazon heavily believes in data driven marketing if you see something that you like and something pops up that matches your preferences understand the recommendation engine is working at its best and throwing some great results the choice you make on amazon are based upon three significant factors including events rating and filtering let's start with events amazon stores and tracks data on all custom behavior and activity on the site every time you search something on the search bar say you type laptop a record of the event is logged in the database and the entry is stored as something like user a clicked on x product whether you like a product add a product to the cart or purchase a product your actions are captured which promotes future purchases next on the list is ratings ratings are an essential component of every e-commerce website including amazon because it unveils how the customer feels about a particular product here the maximum rating is 5 star so in case the user truly loves the product he can easily give it a 5 star the last in the list is filtering filtering products are based upon rating and other user data amazon recommendation engine use three types of filtering collaborative user based and hybrid approach let's discuss each of these collaborative filtering in collaborative filtering the visitors choices are compared to each other and based upon that they are recommended the most suitable product user based filtering the second one is user based filtering in which users browse the history cart item purchases and likes play a significant role before providing recommendations with this we come to the end of our session now that you have learned what the recommendation engine is and its functioning we would love to hear your views about the same in the comment section below if you guys have any queries or questions about what we just discussed you can leave them in the comment section and we will get back to you before leaving let's quickly have a summary of what we discussed today we started our today's discussion with the recommendation engine where we understood the ai algorithm through an example then we briefly discussed why the recommendation engine is so important later we talked about how it works and various aspects which are taken into consideration in the end we also discussed the amazon and netflix recommendation engine works if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button share and subscribe to our channel don't forget to press the bell icon to be notified every time we upload a video we will see you next time bye bye